What's up everyone, today we're going to check out the new Trigger Instrument Editor, a standalone application where you can create your own multi-velocity round-robin drum samples for the award-winning Trigger 2. The Trigger Instrument Editor makes it easy for you to take your own drum recordings or samples and turn them into professional, natural sounding drum samples for the Trigger 2 drum replacer. Make sure to click the link in the description below to get the free Deluxe 2 snare sample set used in this video so you can follow along. The Trigger Instrument Editor has been redesigned from the ground up and comes with loads of new features like a fully resizable GUI with retina support, optimized AAMG profiles so your drums sound even more natural, options to save and load projects for faster edits, and lots of under the hood improvements. So now, let's launch the Instrument Editor and create our first Trigger sample, also known as a TCI file. First, let's choose the folder where we have our drum recordings organized in the Instrument Editor's browser. The last folder you used is automatically saved on the left-hand side, so the next time you open Trigger, you can access your files faster. You can easily find other recently opened folders in the browser drop-down menu as well. Before starting a new project, make sure your drum recordings are named and organized in a way that you can easily identify them. A good rule of thumb is to structure your files similar to what you see in this video, but you can organize them however works best for you. So now, let's make our first TCI file. In this example, I have a few folders here, close top and close bottom, which are both mono, as well as my overheads and room, which are both stereo. For this tutorial, we're going to make a close top mic TCI. I have a few subfolders for my articulations, center, rim shot, and side stick. For my recordings, I start with a name, then velocity number, then round robin number. In this example, I'm creating three articulations for the center, rim shot, and side stick. Then, I set the name for each articulation. Let's look at the center folder. There are nine layers and four round robins. Let's go back to the editor window and set up the project so that there are also nine layers and four round robins. Just click on the section titled Velocity Layers and type in nine, then click round robins and type in four. Then I'll select my center articulation samples by clicking on the first sample, then hold the shift key and click on the last sample. With all of my samples selected, just add it to the top left cell and it will populate perfectly. In this new update, you can drag and drop samples right from your desktop or system folder. You can also move samples around the cells and if the cells aren't empty, they'll switch spots. Once the samples are added, just click the calculate velocity button, which will automatically calculate the velocity numbers for each of the layers. Now, I'm going to preview on the audition strip by clicking at different velocities to make sure everything sounds right. You can also audition each layer with or without the round robins by toggling the button on or off, but most users keep this feature enabled. Whenever you save a TCI file, the AAMG algorithm will be applied to make your sample sound more natural, so be sure to choose the one that fits your sample best when editing. Now, I'm going to manually change some of the velocities to taste. I'll click on these velocity boxes and move them up or down. I can also double click on the numbers and enter a custom value. Now, I'll audition the velocities again to make sure everything sounds right. Now that the center articulation is done, let's move on to the rim shot sample. I'll set the velocity value and round robin value, select all of my samples, and smash that calculate velocity button. Now, let's preview all the layers. And done! Now, let's edit the side stick. In this example, I'll show you how to work with an uneven number of round robins. I'm going to have to add the samples one velocity layer at a time. I have five velocities here, and at most, four round robins per layer. Now just select the four samples titled Velocity 1 and add them to the first layer. Then do the same for the other layers. Calculate the velocities and change up the velocity numbers if needed. When the velocities sound right, make sure the AAMG algorithm is set correctly and click the Save TCI button at the top. You can also save the project for future edits or to use it as a project later on. Just save the TCI file to your Trigger 2 library, then open up Trigger 2 and enjoy your new samples.